Hi guys, me what adventure and hundred and here's my bug out bag. Um, I was kind of watching one of armored cockro uh, cockroaches videos on the internet about um his bug out bag, and I read some a few of the comments underneath, and uh, I decided to uh, write down a few notes of what sort of stuff he's got in there. Add a few of my own, and I've uh, come up with this. Um, I got my military, my Dutch military um, rucksack out, pretty hard wear and waterproof, and I've uh, put some stuff in here. Um, I'll start off showing you what I've got on the outside. Um, I'll start with this easy to access 2 litre rock water bottle. Um, it's got a small pouch here for a knife or whatever. But as I said, you can carry 2 litres in here. Um, also on the front here, I've got a small stove, solid fuel stove. This is for uh, if, I were, if I was going to cook and that sort of stuff. And then on the front here, I've got my name tag in there. And um, these two little side pouches. Um, in this one, I've got kind of snacks, um, boot laces, a, a radio, walkie talkie type thing. And in this one, I've got um, an even smaller kind of bug out bag that if I really needed to, and I need to escape, I could just take this single bag. But um, this is kind of seen as a kind of luxury compared to that bag. Um, also, on the outside, I've got kind of small hang of rope. But if we go into the side pocket, um, We'll start with this side actually. Um, I first of all have to show you. It's got kind of quite thick waterproof so um, this kind of little pot of camouflage paint, green on one end, black on the other. Um, that's if, if you kind of need to camouflage your face and uh, if you're going to hunt or whatever, if you need to. Um, some carabine carabiners. Um, so and some wet wipes. I'll stop here for a second um, and I'll say the the idea of a bug out bag or B.O.B. or Bob <laughs> the whole idea of them is um, kind of a, say a natural disaster it's a bag that you can grab easily so you need to keep somewhere easy to grab obviously um, and you can just quickly grab it and you've got all the stuff you need in here um, as you can see at the moment I'm out in my garden again with the bird hide over there so um, yeah this is kind of quite a good situation to test it out and if I just show you in this pocket now, um, what I have at the bottom, here you know, I've got a few snacks and bits of food, got some oil for cooking, oxo cube, and a big bag of pasta. The bag of pasta is probably enough for three, four meals, just me. And I'll see the side po next side pocket. So guys, in the next pocket, um, I'll just show you down here first. If I can get it out, it's quite hard to quite in there, quite stiff so it won't fall out while walking around. Oh, I'll show you that next. Uh, anyway, in this side pocket I have um, another hank of rope, you never know how much rope you need. Um, SS survival guide. And a set of French military mess tins, a little nest set, a scorpion tail. Open this up, got in here, bottle opener, um, cocktail sticks and clips and some cutlery. Um, I could kind of put a bit more food in here, um, which I'll do soon. And if I can just get the little... <sighs> As I was saying here, we have a um, kind of small sewing kit. Um, it's got some needles, that sort of stuff in there. And that could be for any general repairs, either for the rucksack or anything else I've got in here. Um, we'll show you inside the main pocket now. And if we go into the main pocket now. Um, on the top here, we have a large first aid kit. In here, we've got medical supplies. could probably last ooh, for a while, depending on how bad injuries. You could probably treat up to um, four or five people. Got some good stuff in here, um, antiseptics, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, bandage shears, different size bandages, plasters, anything really. In the top pocket, I have, I have a few tools in here. Folding saw. And this kind of multi-purpose shovel, to dig in pits or whatever. Um, you could always make a wooden handle to go in here. So it's got a mixture of wrenches, bottle opener, another kind of saw, hatchet edge, 
nail puller and of course the shovel on here. Um, pretty good little tool this, quite sturdy. Um, obviously if you're going to use the hatchet blade with this bit bent to be honest, um, you just sharpen it. So we'll show you what's in the next pocket. Okay so in this pocket I have waterproofs, um, this, I think it's called a kangaroo pouch. Um, in here if you undo these zips I've got kind of snacks, um, this is a box of tinder, um, lighter, knife, radio, um, another knife, um, blanket, foil blanket, phone, um, kind of sheath knife, compass, wind up torch, here's the kind of small stuff that would otherwise fall out, and then we've also got wire saw, flint and steel, that sort of, that sort of kit, um, and I've got my main tarp in there, big one, um, like that could be made into a sort of different tents, that sort of stuff, and that would obviously correspond in with the ropes um, when you're hanging it from trees. I've also got a slightly smaller tarp to use as a ground sheet, or that could also be made into a small shelter. A fold up 5 litre bucket, um, if you're going to use that to collect rainwater or whatever, it could be used. And um, in this waterproof liner bag, I have um, enough clothes to last me about 5 6 days. Um, just like the bare basics, basic clothes, quite lightweight stuff, but I've also got some warm weather clothing in there as well. Um, also a handy feature of this bag, I might just say, as because it does because it's quite old with the back padding, it doesn't actually have much, so it's got this foam kind of mat thing in here, but that also could be taken out, and you could also kind of lie on that as a kind of roll mat type thing. So that's why I didn't really need to bring one because I have slept on this before. You got this obviously just you put put it kind of on your back, so just to get your back nice and soft so um, I hope you kind of enjoyed this kind of video um, keep enjoying the great outdoors with safety obviously um, take a visit to my website the outdoor guild on there I'll have some more views of this sort of stuff and um, please comment rate and maybe even subscribe also check out armored cockroach videos if you haven't actually seen them yet because they're pretty good and um, mind wisemans are just as good uh, they're obviously a lot better than me, but yeah. So hope you enjoy this. Over.